Moscow claims the latest U.S. military deployment towards the Russian border violates a key act with NATO. Well, for more on this, let's get the details from our correspondent Jacqueline Vuga. Thanks for coming in, Jackie. Now, what's behind the Russian Defense Ministry's statement? Well, Nikki, on Thursday, the U.S. announced the presence of a second regiment in the already tense, very tense Baltic region in Poland. And that's a move which Moscow claims violates that fundamental peace treaty signed between Russia and NATO so long ago that was designed, in fact, to end uh, decades of Cold War tensions between the two sides, which, of course, we all know recently have flared up again. And the Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson believes the additional deployment really undermines Russia's own security by surrounding it by, with hostile forces. Let's take a listen. In contrary to the claims of NATO and the U.S. on the insignificance of the troops approaching the Russian border, in fact, now it's not a brigade there, but a U.S. mechanized military division. 
Hmm, so how's the Pentagon explained the reason for moving these forces? Well, we all know that Washington is constantly referring to Russia as an enemy, a threat that they must protect themselves and their European allies against. But the Pentagon spokesperson insists that this division has a purely defensive attitude. We are in in those places def as a defense and a defensive posture, and we're very clear about that. And anyone who sees th anything differently um, would be wrong. Now, of course, the U.S. has also said that it's a simply a matter of rotation between new and old regiments. But it's worth noting that their rotation would not take them back home, would not take them out of Europe, in fact, altogether. It would actually just move them to another Eastern European country, Romania. And at this point, Russia has uh, expressed that they reserve the right to also bolster their defensives if need be. And what about the country at the center of it all, Poland? What does Poland have to say about this? Well, the Polish defense minister recently called for more U.S. troops to be deployed to his uh, country in order to, quote, protect it from external threats. And those comments actually came right on the heels of the Zapa drills, which were condu conducted in September between Russia and Belarus. And they caused an uproar in international media. Uh, lots of speculation that the maneuvers were being non-transparent, non with speculation just swirling that the Russian troops that came to Belarus were actually there to stay. They're about to do an exercise in Belarus, uh, Russia, uh, that's going to entail up to 100,000 Russian troops moving into, into that country. The great concern is they're not going to leave. Now, that is, of course, not true. Upon the completion of the drills, the Russian units that were in Belarus all returned to their permanent bases. But so far, it looks like it's the U.S. troops that are here to stay. Okay, thanks for the update. That's Artis Jacqueline Ruger. Thanks for coming in.